Hey guys, welcome back to another weekend vlog. So I just got out of the shower. It's about 9.30 right now. Um, I am getting ready to go to town. I have a few things I need to get done in town. So I'm gonna reach off my to-do list. But today is Saturday, like I said. Um, it's kind of my cleaning day, but I do have some friends from work coming over tonight. We're just gonna have like a chill, relaxed night. We're gonna drink some wine. Um, have dinner, have some snacks, watch movies, just like have a super chill night. I've been wanting to do this for a while and this is the first weekend that all four of us were able to come together and be able to do it. Um, so we're going to do that tonight. So I'm going to turn you around, I'm going to show you my to-do list and then we will get going. Okay, so this is quite the to-do list, but a lot of it is just little tasks that need to get done. So in town, I just need to get some gas and then I... Um, have a grocery pickup order at Walmart at 10 o'clock, which I'll share with you in this vlog. It's super small. I just had a few things that I needed to get for the party tonight and then like for the week, um, just like breakfast stuff. And then I really need to clean out my car. It is a disaster after Thanksgiving and I need to get that cleaned out. And then I will come in and make the taco soup, which I'll share with you as well. Um, the blankets on my couch, I'm just a little paranoid about them. I washed them a couple weeks ago, but Garfield sits on them and, you know, the kids have food and things in there. So anyway, I'm going to wash the blankets on the back of the couch so that everyone can have a blanket tonight. And then I need to clean the hallway bathroom to make sure that that's clean for them to be able to use. I need to sweep all the floors, clean out the litter box, and then take out the trash. I always do the litter box and then take out the trash just so I can have that in the trash can, you know. Um, and then mopping, which you guys know is like the bane of my existence. I hate mopping, but it needs to be done. Um, so I need to mop the kitchen, the living room, and also the hallway bathroom. And then um, the girls from work are bringing over their kids as well. So I just want to make sure that the kids' rooms are clean so that they can have a place to play. I suspect that they're going to be watching TV in Liam's room, but I just want to make sure that they have a clean space to be able to play. And then I need to go pick up my kids. They're with their grandma. I'm going to do, I'm going to pick up them after I do all of this cleaning. And then I need to sit down and edit and upload my Thanksgiving cook with me. It's way late, but I'm still trying to get it up because I'm trying to be consistent this month. I'm trying to get myself back in order. I really do enjoy doing videos, but it's just been a struggle to be able to stay consistent with just my husband being gone and just you know, other things coming up. So anyway, that is my to-do list for today. So we are going to go ahead and get going. Okay, I am back home. So I'm just going to show you really quickly what I got. It's not a whole lot, but um, I needed to get just a couple things for snacks for tonight. So I decided to get these brownie bites and then also these frosted sugar cookies. Everybody loves these. So I just went ahead and got that. And I also have like some more snacks in the pantry too. If we need more, I'm planning on doing... Um, I've got chips and French onion dip and then just like chips and salsa as well. So needed to get some milk for the week. So I just got a gallon and then I've been liking these breakfast bowls for my breakfast. So I got four of these sausage ones. I tried these sausage and gravy ones and those are really good, but I wanted to try these too. So I'm going to try this one and see which one I like better. So I got four of those and then I needed to get my coffee for the week. I tried to wean myself off of coffee and it was not a good week. So we're going back to it. Um, so I got two loco mochas and two of the mean beans. So that will be for that. And then I saw this keto coffee from Bang. It's a lot less expensive. Um, I think it's like $1.98 or something. But they had um, three different flavors, but they were out of stock of two of them. Um, so I did manage to get the birthday cake bash. So I will have that this week. And I'll let you know how it is probably in a vlog. And then they substituted the mocha one with the rainbow unicorn, just regular energy drink. So... I have that. I don't know if I'll actually drink it. I might save it for my husband for when he comes home because he's coming home in a couple weeks because um, I'm not a real big fan of this one in particular, but he likes it. So anyway, got those. And then I just needed some more gum for my purse. So I got some of these. And then you guys know that I love the Downy Unstoppables in the fresh scent, the blue scent specifically. So I got some of the wax melts to put in my wax warmers. And then I wanted to try this. This is the touch fabric spray. You're supposed to like be able to shake it. And then anytime someone touches the surface that it's been sprayed on, it like reactivates the scent. So I don't know. I just like this scent. So I got that. And then I got some of the unstoppable scent beads. I'm actually going to be trying a DIY um, today. 
I'm going to put these in some boiling water, let them dissolve, and then use this as my cleaning solution um, for my floors. So I'm hoping that that's gonna work, um, but yeah. So yeah, that's what I got from Walmart, just a little bitty necessity haul. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and make our taco soup here. So I've got my crock pot on too low. I just made some hamburger here. Um, that's not grease, it's actually broth that I basically steamed it in. Um, so I'm gonna throw that in. I've got one can of pinto beans and one can of black beans. These are drained and rinsed, and I did get the uh, no salt added kind. I mean, I don't know how big of a difference that makes, but we try and cut back wherever we can. And then I have just a packet of taco seasoning. Um, normally I would cook this in with the hamburger, but I just forgot to today, so there's that. And this is gonna cook on low all day, so all the flavors are gonna melt together anyways. And then I've got this thing of ranch seasoning here that I got at Costco, but um, it's three tablespoons are equivalent to one packet. So however you have it, you're just gonna wanna do the equivalent to one packet. Um, we'll throw that in. And then, <clears throat> I've got three cups of beef broth. I just get the Knorr um, powdered broth, or the powdered mixture or whatever, and I mix up my own. Um, I'll show you here in just a second, the ones that I have, but I feel like it is definitely more cost effective to do it that way, and I also think that it tastes better, so. And then I have just a can of Rotel here, the no salt added. I'm throwing juices and all in. Um, Rotel is definitely one of those things that I do continue to buy the name brand just because I feel like the tomatoes that are in it are better quality. Um, I see one right here that the core is on it. I'm gonna throw that out. But like the great value kind, for some reason it seems like they leave the skin on their tomatoes, if that makes sense. So anyway, I just stick with the Rotel. And then this is optional, but I have a bag of whole kernel corn. This is not the sweet corn. I would not recommend using sweet corn in this. I just think that it gives it a weird flavor. Um, so I'm not using sweet corn, but I am using the whole kernel of corn, just, just to give it a little bit more volume, basically, and more color, because um, I am having there's gonna be four of us eating for sure, and then possibly some kids. So I just wanna make sure that I have enough. Um, so yeah. And I can type out the recipe for this down below if you're interested, but um, taco soup is like one of my favorite things. It's so good. I would rather have taco soup than um, chili. And so would my husband, so. We are gonna pop a top on that and just cook it until they get here. They're supposed to be here about six. So it'll cook for, it's 11 now. So it'll cook for about seven hours, so, which is exactly what you want. So really quickly, here is that Knorr um, bouillon. I have the beef and the chicken. And I feel like these taste really, really good. And you only need one teaspoon to one cup of water. And it's gonna last you forever. This is 32 ounces. And I think these are about $6 at Walmart if you can find them. But I highly recommend using this, especially like around the holidays, whenever you're needing a lot of broth to make things with. And I mean, $6 for a pound is a lot better than $2 for 16 ounces of just broth that has no flavor in it. You know what I mean? So anyway, there's my two cents on that subject. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw the blankets in. Um, but I just wanted to show you the detergent that I use. It's great value brand. Um, we cut corners around here anywhere, anytime that we can. So um, I'm just gonna throw these in. I got all these blankets at Walmart, by the way, except my friend's one. That's actually, uh, that was a gift, a Christmas gift a couple Christmases ago. But so I use the great value ultimate fresh. Um, 
this is supposed to be like a dupe for gain and I would definitely agree with that um, it definitely smells a lot like gain my favorite laundry soap is the Purcell but it's kind of expensive um, so and then I'm also using the scent boosters that it comes with I just fill up the cup like halfway like you don't need a whole lot and I'm just gonna pop that in Garfield what are you doing dude <clears throat> And then we'll just get these washed real quick. Okay, so it is 11.30. I just got done cleaning the bathroom. I have officially decided that I am not mopping the floors today. I figured that was going to happen, but it was um, it was a good thought. <laughs> um, so I'm going to sit down. I'm going to cool off for a second. Probably watch a YouTube video. There are some Vlogmas videos on that I have not watched yet, so I'm going to go ahead and watch those. And then I'm going to do the litter box, take out the trash... And then I'm probably going to go get my kids because we still need to clean their rooms and they are going to help me pick up their toys. So that's what's going on right now. So I will catch up with you guys when I clean out the litter box, I guess. I don't know. We'll see where I pick back up at. <laughs> o'clock I just straightened my hair um, I always when I wash it I always want to straighten it the same day um, because it looks so much better and I've been like really trying not to wash my hair every single day so I'm up to being able to go three days without which is exciting because my hair is so much healthier <laughs> um, so anyway I am sitting down I've got my laptop here um, hopefully it's not dead i just been like trying to put all my passwords and everything on it so that I can just have it ready to go. Um, but I ordered a mouse because I hate the mouse pad on the laptop. So I just got like, I think this was like six bucks on Amazon. I wanna go pick up my kids, but they're napping right now. So I'm waiting for my mother-in-law to tell me um, that, I, that they're awake so I can go get them. Um, like I said, everyone is supposed to be here about five or six, and my house is pretty well clean. I mean, I really wanted to mop it, but I'm just not feeling it today. I didn't want to be sweating my butt off, and then, you know, clean. Um, taco soup is smelling amazing. The washer is done, so I uh, switched it and got my blankets back on the couch. So yeah, I'm feeling good. Um, I don't know if I've talked about my mental health in a while, but I, so, okay, I don't remember if I told you guys this or not, but I ended up having to go to the doctor because I was having some pain um, in my stomach that was kind of alarming, like it was very, very painful, and so she like pushed around on my belly and like I was almost in tears when she was pushing, pushing around, so she suspects that I have ovarian cysts. Um, which, you know, I don't know how big of a deal that is. Like, obviously I've never had them, so I don't know. Um, but I don't think it's that big of a deal, but at the same time, like we're wanting to try and have a baby within the neck. Well, we'll start trying next year, um, to have a baby. And so I just want to make sure that everything is okay. Um, there because I actually had an ectopic pregnancy back in 2016 I believe um and I had to have my tube taken out so I have both my ovaries but I only have one tube so 
I just, I don't know. I don't mess around with my woman health, especially considering my family history. Um, every woman in my family has had some sort of cancer, whether it be like, so ovarian, cervical, or breast cancer. Every woman in my family has had one of those. And so I'm basically destined to have that too. Um, so I just stay on top of my woman's health just to make sure that, you know, I can be here for my family and for my kids because I'm 27. So I'm starting to get like to that age where I need to start going in for, you know, mammograms and things like that. Um, my OB actually suggests that I start doing mammograms when I'm 29. So that's, that's coming soon, the joys of getting older. So Anyways, that was completely off topic, but I'm just sitting down to continue to put my passwords and stuff into this computer and um, waiting on the kids to wake up. So anyway, that's my little afternoon update.